Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we're going to create an amazing crystal background here in After Effects. This technique looks stunning and the best part is you don't need any plugins to achieve it. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Now let's dive in and let's get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and now hit on this little icon or controller command plus N on your keyboard. And like usual, let's type Final Comp 1920 by 1080 30 FPS 10 seconds long. Hit OK and now go right click to create new solid layer. And I will just rename it BG4 Background. Alright, and then hit OK. Now go here in the Facts and Preset and let's find first effect. This is gonna be Cell Pattern Effect. OK, drag and drop onto the background. And here let's change few settings for the cell pattern, change from bubbles to crystals. And also let's crank up the disperse value from 1 to 1 and a half, alright. And for the size let's go to around 120. Ok, go here in the effects and preset again. And now let's type color and bass effect, alright. Drag and drop onto the background. And also let's change relief from 1 to 6, alright. And for the contrast from 100 let's go to around 350. Ok, for the next effect let's go here again in the effects and preset and find unsharp mask effect, alright, drag and drop also on the background and for the amount let's type 120. Also for the next effect go here and let's type triton effect, alright, drag and drop onto the background and change midtones to maybe this pink color, I will do for this particular tutorial this pink color, hit ok and now let's go again here and find glow effect also drag and drop onto the background and for the glow threshold i will do 75 and for the radius let's type 30 and now let's duplicate this background solid layer for a few times okay now let's hit ctrl plus d here all right and for this upper one let's go here in the facts and preset and find cc vector blur effect drag and drop onto this first background all right and for the vector blur let's change amount to around 300 Ok, now let's change blending mode for this first background, you can change color here, just go right click to change solid color, I will do just this random color and change blending mode here from normal, let's go and find multiply. Alright, now hit T for the opacity and let's lower down this to around 50%. Alright, now let's duplicate this multiply solid layer once again, hit Ctrl plus D, change color if you want again and change blending mode from multiply to screen. Now let's go down and find vector blur effect and instead of 300 type here 30 for this background screen solid layer. Alright now go here in the triton effect and change midtones to maybe this type of blue color. Go and find the cyan blue color and then hit ok. Now it's time to create our first adjustment layer. Go right click find here new adjustment layer. This is gonna be just CC glass. Alright go here in the facts and preset and I will find CC glass effect. Alright, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer, open up surface and for the softness let's type 10, for the height let's go to around maybe 20 and for the displacement let's go to around 30. Alright, now let's create second adjustment layer, go right click and find here new adjustment layer and this is gonna be glow. Alright, go here again and find glow effect. This one, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and change glow threshold to around 70%, radius to around 200 and let's go and open up this option glow colors and change to A and B color and for the color A let's go and find also pink color, hit OK, use eyedropper for color B, alright and this is already looking great. Now let's hit Ctrl plus D for this glow effect once again. And as you can see, our scene is looking nice. One thing we have forgotten to do is to animate our cell pattern effect. Now select this first background solid layer, hit Alt on your keyboard and click on this evolution option. And I will just type time, for example, 100. OK, now let's copy this expression and let's paste it also on the multiply solid layer. Also hit F3 and find cell pattern effect, hold Alt on your keyboard, left mouse click paste the expression and also do it for this screen solid layer, find here cell pattern, hold alt, left mouse click and now when we hit zero we have also this cool looking animation of our crystals. 
All right, now let's create final adjustment layer. Go right click and let's create here adjustment layer again. And this is gonna be color balance. All right, this is gonna be our color correction. Go here and find color balance effect. All right, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And basically here in the color balance effect, you can play around with the red, green and blue balance. And for the red balance, I will do maybe around 100. And for the green, let's lower down to minus 100. And you can play around with every option here. And also for the blue, let's crank this up to around maybe 90 or so. And I will also crank up the highlights. Just play around here until you're satisfied with your own final results. All right, now let's pre-compose everything. Select here everything, go right click and hit this option pre-compose. And I will just rename this one BG01. You can of course type here your own text and then hit OK. Now let's duplicate this new composition. Hit Ctrl plus D, all right, and go here in the effects and preset and let's find find edges effect and drag and drop onto the first new composition. And let's also add a Triton effect. And for this Triton effect, let's change highlights to maybe this type of blue color. Hit OK, use eyedropper also for the midtones. Check this option also for the fine edges invert. And go here in the blending mode and find add. Now hit T also for the opacity of this new composition. And let's lower it down to around 20. And as you can see, this is with our fine edges effect and this is without. And basically you can play around to duplicate this even more, hit Ctrl plus D, now we have this kind of look, you can also change different blending modes like overlay, and just play around until you're satisfied, as I have already said, with your own final results. Alright guys, that was everything for today's tutorial, in every moment go here in the background composition, and you can experiment here with various different options, you can add even more effects like lens flare, even more glow, tritons and so many more. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that like and subscribe button. And also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. You can also leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.